with Chief Meteorologist Eric Finkenbinder. You know, with, with the weather this quiet, I, I'm still so amazed uh, to what we're experiencing right now. Um, it, it's way too dry. Let's just put that in the, in the back right now. We'll try to work on that. But 90 degrees, it doesn't feel like 90. And why doesn't it feel like 90? A dew point of 47. Okay, what's a dew point of 47? Relative humidity, if, you, if you'd rather use relative humidity, we're talking about values below 20%. It's that dry. The air mass, yes, the ground is dry, but the air is that dry too. I mean, check it out. A 17% if you want to use that for EFS Storm, uh, Steam Academy in York, Mercersburg Academy. I mean, these are just very, very low dew points, which just tells us that we have a very dry air mass in place. And we're talking areas hitting 90 degrees. So, yes, the hottest day so far this year. I still think tomorrow is going to be hotter. Officially at HIA, I do believe it is going to be hitting 90 here for today officially. But you can just see it just carves out. This very dry air mass right over top of us as we show you the surface map too. Normally, you know, we're looking off to the west. No, I had to shift the map because what we're going to be getting now for the weekend and really next week is off well to our north. We have what we call a backdoor front and that is just basically a front that is moving a complete opposite direction than what we're used to. It's dropping south and, and west. That is going to be arriving for Saturday. Now, if you're hearing about showers, there could be a chance, but trust me, this is not going to be any type that's going to be a, a good significant amount of rain. Watch what happens tomorrow. It's trying to pop up a shower. That's going to be tough to do. And even our precision cast says, yeah, there'll be clouds some Saturday on Saturday, but it doesn't even hint at showers too. So if you're hearing about any rain developing or a, a, an unsettled pattern developing for the first week of June, I would be cautious in saying there's rain involved because there isn't going to be that much. What we are talking about is this area of low pressure that's just going to sit and spin and spin and spin. What does that mean for us next week? Cool and breezy. So we're talking days that are in the 70s, nice into the mid 50s. You know, we're thinking more like, you know, it's June now, heat, humidity. No, there's not going to be that much humidity again next week, which also means not that much chance for a rain either. But here we go, more comfortable weather. I mean, it is quite comfortable. We're still looking for some of that uh, significant rain around the area. Okay, we need to get to something much, <laughs> much more important right now. Yes. Some wonderful news, too. We want to say congratulations to our meteorologist, Dan Tommaso. <laughs> That's right, Mr. and Mrs. Tommaso welcoming. We've got Colette and Tommaso. Beautiful name. Uh, I have to, of course, give the stats too, right? 20 and a half inches long, wow. seven pounds, five ounces. And I have to admit, that kind of looks like a, mis uh, like a Tommaso, doesn't it? It does. Brittany did all that hard work. Yes. It looks just like Dan. Congratulations. That name is so beautiful. So Colette Tommaso sounds great. I love oh. that. I, I don't know if I'm if I should be saying this now, but I'm going to anyway. But yeah. uh, Mrs. Tommaso's birthday is today, so they're back to oh, back. There you go. Happy birthday! I'm picturing mother daughter birthday trips yeah, in the that's future. Right. <laughs> Dan being broke because they're so, back to yeah. back. <laughs> so congratulations, She's Dan adorable. and, and Brittany, and it's just yes, yeah, she is a yeah. wonderful. We can't wait thing. to spoil her in our ABC 27 family. Just happy, happy news. <laughs>